The black horse of the apocalypse represents the intellect. Science! The horse that Western civilization has been riding for a few centuries now, except lately, the science that the public is being fed is causing uh, the cinch on the saddle to slip a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody, I'm Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at theflowcenter.com. You can book an appointment, a free consultation with us at theflowcenter.com or at hypnosisoverthephone.com, just as effective. Or my private number, you can call at 214-699-6627. Just as a casual observation, because advertisement and what people see on TV, movies, YouTube, such. Uh, most of the world is riding the red horse, which is the symbol for the heart or the emotional heart. That's because uh, the media relies on three things to influence the population. And you can be sure that they nailed this one in scientific psychological research decades ago. Those three things are, one, the hypnotic power of television, moving pictures or imagery inside your home or phone these days. <laughs> Two, repetition. I'm sure you've seen the same commercial 50 times. And three, and this is the thing that is important here, drama, emotions, passion. You seeing people excited about the product or idea that they are using. <laughs> so fueling suggestion with emotion is a very concrete, reliable, and effective way to influence people's behavior, uh, especially on a mass scale. And that is why most people in our modern world are primarily riding the red horse. Now, fewer people these days are riding the black horse or the intellect. I suspect that uh, the people riding the cold, calculating, only the facts, ma'am, uh, black horse are the ones that thought up the red horse driven media influencing machine. But to tell the truth, it seems that Western civilization has been riding the black horse ever since the Renaissance started. As far as we've been told about our history, which is just his story, <laughs> brute force or physicalness of the pale green horse ruled the day, it ruled the population. Then the Romans uh, arrived on the scene with a bit of the black horse in that they used crafty military strategy to overrun the brute force. But they controlled the Roman citizens through their version of mass media or mass entertainment, the glad games, gladiators. Exhibition, repetition, and stoking the emotions, the red horse. Western civilization arose upon the black horse. Science! due to the uh, Roman Empire falling apart because they relied so heavily on the pale horse and red horse to drive their society or control them. The black horse is a symbol for the third aspect of humanity, intellect. Hmm. The motto of the black horse civilization is this, if it can't be seen, if it can't be heard, touched, smelled, or tasted, it don't exist. If it can't be detected or measured, it doesn't exist. Science! The really important things in life cannot be defined and put into words. My, 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 how many hundreds of thousands of poets and songwriters have tried to put love into words. How many hundreds of thousands of books are there about the Bible, about God, who is by definition beyond defining, beyond comprehension. How many thousands of papers are written about the human body and its utterly astounding complexity and we still don't know how it all works. By the way, that last little rhetorical tirade of questions <laughs> covers the other three horses, red, white, and green, uh, in that order. Just a, just a thought. Uh, anyway. We, in the waning years of the Western civilization, longed to get off the black horse so much that we, uh, we've turned our scientists into a kind of priesthood. We've turned equal merit-based 
opportunity into equal, who do you know, outcome. This number of scientists uh, all agree on this issue, and that number of scientists disagree, so their research is not financed and supported. The word empirical, empirical, means something like based on facts. <laughs> the true uh, factual results of experiments, in other words. But science has become a religion like it was in Galileo's days, where you, you believed the world was flat, or else the wild doggies had, had roasted an astronomer for dinner that night. Science based on consensus instead of repeatable experimentation is belief-based, like religion. The truth is, we can't be riding astride any one of the four horses. We need all four horses to drag our chariot down the road, all running in the same direction, all led by the lead horsey, <laughs> the white horse. And we'll cover that next time. This is Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at the Flow Center in Dallas. You can book a free consultation with us at theflowcenter.com or hypnosisoverthephone.com, just as effective. Or at my private number, you can call at 214 699 6627. Science!